Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the KEF LSX2, um, which is, um, well, presumably called that as there's a pair of them. Uh, these retail for £1,200 here in the UK, which is obviously very steep for um, a pair of desk speakers, um, but are quite premium feeling, as you would expect for the money, I suppose. Um, uh, you get an app with it, um, quite a nice app to be fair, as you again, as you'd expect. Um, just some standard things here, you can see what song's playing, change the volume, stuff like that. Um, and then you've got a remote which will let you change the source. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, TV, meaning HDMI, so these are brilliant for TVs. Optical, USB and AUX, so pretty much any input you can think of. Um, you've then got music, so you can change what source the music is coming from, or obviously you can just play through Bluetooth. Um, you can add EQ profiles and you can change things like the volume limit, sensitivity, performance, update it through the app, um, which is quite cool, to be fair, a decent app. Again, like I said, we've got nice quality speakers here, um, kind of like a uh, f like a fluffy kind of material on the top and sides, which does look good. These are obviously in the gold colour, so for some reason we get like a blue bit in the middle of the drivers and then indicators on both sides to like so when they're pairing or updating you get an idea of what's going on <coughs> on the back of these so this is the main unit sorry struggling with the camera um <coughs> obviously we've got our sub escape and then we've got buttons to reset pair uh pair with another one bluetooth pairing and then we've got like ethernet hdmi ports optical usb-c aux for an external subwoofer as well um <coughs> and then on the second speaker, we've literally just got a pairing button and port, so not as much. Um, these are obviously work as a pair, uh, but all they need is a power cable each, as you just saw. They don't need to be connected to each other, um, which is slightly different than what I've experienced in the past normally, especially with like a surround sound system, you'd have them all connected into one main sub or, or to each other at the very least. And these are wireless in that respect. So that's quite cool. Um, uh, obviously with the app, as you saw, we can use things like AirPlay 2, Spotify Tidal, Chromecast, HDMI input. So yeah, you can tell the market they're going for here. These are kind of supposed to sit behind a TV or on a bookshelf type thing. Um, the drivers are made from aluminium and magnesium. So that's where a bit of the money's going in that they're not just plastic or paper, God forbid. I know the Sony speakers used to be paper, so <laughs> we're not looking at anything like that here. Um, Interestingly enough, the frequency range is 49 hertz to 47,000 um, 47, hertz. 49 hertz, kind of on the higher scale, uh, the bottom of that there. So the DVLA mania for, for comparison is 30 hertz to 30,000, um, which means obviously it's, it's effectively got more bass, which might be shocking to look at, seeing as there's two of these and they're a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, a lot more bass, but nowhere near the highs. So thirty-seven thousand compared to th sorry, thirty thousand compared to forty-seven thousand. Whereas it's forty-nine hertz at the bottom for these, and thirty hertz at the bottom for the mania. So it's a bit yeah, it's shifted a bit more towards a high treble type thing. You don't get a whole lot of bass out of these. Um, I mean, obviously, if you're playing them, if you're watching TV anyway, then that is the type of frequency range you'd rather be in. But it is, it is something to bear in mind that it is a little bit different. Um, we've got 102 decibels max output. Um, again, for comparison, the Soundbox 3, um, the wireless one that I did not long ago, is 126 decibels. So, obviously, for the money, you're not you're not getting the volume there. But again, that's not really the market these are these are these are looking for. Obviously, uh, they weigh 7.2 kilos per a set. So, you can do the maths, divide it by two for each one. And they um, they kept state there a 200 watt output, so, and again 200 watt 1200 quid. The maths isn't really adding up there in any way. In I think for most people that would be considered a little bit questionable. But we will do a sound test, and you can hear for yourself. 80% volume as we always do. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare
Like shadows in the atmosphere Charting the stratosphere I'm praying for you And catching me In hopes you chase away my fears I'm on my own You made it so And I'm chasing my dreams So I So as you can hear, bass isn't exactly low. There is some thumping going on, but not as not the frequency range isn't as low as some others. Um, and yeah, it's it's not bad sound. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm trying to get at here. But it's as always with these things. It's the price. Um, Twelve hundred quid. I mean, I, you can buy sound bars, which will have especially for a TV. Like if that's what you're buying this for, you can buy a sound bar for well under half of that, which is going to do the same job. So. It, you, these are a bit of a statement, if you know what I mean. Like if you've got, if you've got money to literally just throw up the wall, and you've bought a brand new TV and you want a proper statement behind it for your speakers, then yeah, these are brilliant. But uh, there are there are a lot of things that I would that I would recommend over these. I think you're paying for the name a little bit. Um, obviously, Kef being quite a premium brand, I think that effectively is what you're paying for a little bit here. Um, but not bad sound at all. And if you paid for them, you wouldn't be upset. But you may be upset when someone comes in the room with something half the price, which is better. So take it as you will. Um, I will do some comparisons in the next couple of videos just to prove the point I'm getting at. Um, but yeah, leave any comments below. Let me know what you think. And would you pay this price?